Hello, high school football fans. This is Paul Valencia from the Colombian Sports Staff. It's football season. Hey, you guys know I enjoy my job covering all high school sports, but it's no secret I really, really, really love football. And judging by the numbers online and the interaction with you on social media and at games, it's clear you guys love football too. Being a high school football fan in Southwest Washington is special. In fact, it could be argued we have been spoiled. We've had so many good teams at all classifications which is why we were all stunned last year when we didn't have anything to do on Thanksgiving. There was no football practice to cover. In five of the previous six seasons, we had at least one team reach the state semifinals. And high school football players know if you're in the state semifinals, that means you're practicing on Thanksgiving Day, and that is a big-time goal. So as we head into 2015, here's hoping at least one team is still playing during the holiday. In the 4A GSHL, Camus, Union, Skyview, You've heard us call it the Big Three. Well, they're still the Big Three. Mountain View and Battleground would love to get in there, of course. Evergreen and Heritage have new coaches and new optimism, but Camus, Union, Skyview have to be the Big Three until someone can knock them off. In the 3A GSHL, Columbia River went to the state quarterfinals last year. They lost 26 seniors, but it's Columbia River. As one coach said, they just reload. Every year they have new faces come in and take over for the old faces. Columbia River is in a four-team league, and the Chieftains have to be favored even with the loss of all those seniors. Prairie, they are young but experienced. They had a lot of sophomores play varsity football last year. Fort Vancouver has twice as many players this year than they had last year and that's a big deal for a, a struggling program. Coach Cal Zuber has things going in the right direction. Then we have the 2A Greater St. Helens League. Hawkinson made school history, went to the state quarterfinals last year. They have eight returning defensive players back from one of the best defenses in the state. So yes, Hawkinson has to be favored. Woodland, on the other hand, they lost a lot of seniors to graduation. But they've got quarterback, Wyatt Harsh. He's a sophomore, and he's considered one of the best quarterbacks in the region. Had a great freshman campaign, had a great offseason, and he'll be getting a lot of looks in the future. Ridgefield, don't, don't count out Ridgefield. They didn't win a game two years ago. Last year, they went 5-4. and four. This year, they have three all-league linemen back. And then you got to go down to the 1A League. Le Center is looking for its fourth league title in a row and a long playoff run. Le Center's got to have the toughest non-league schedule for a 1A program. They'll play anybody just to get better for league and then prepare for the playoffs. Here we go. It's August now. Who will be playing in late November? Hopefully at least one team, maybe two, maybe three.